Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Polina, and today we have a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. It's been a while since my last upload, but hopefully I'll get back into it and I'll explain more in another video. But first, let's go through the materials that we will be using for today and stay until the end of the video where I show you the page anatomy and this video is going to also discuss the different ways to use your washi dots. I have accumulated quite a lot, a whole range of washi dots, and I've had to think of creative ways to use them so that I don't get bored. But first, let's go ahead and get back to the page that I'm doing here today. And this is my work planner. So here I'm just deepening the lines that's already in my planner in the right side of the page and for the left side I have lined um, the first column by following the dots that are already on the page. And that just makes it easier for me to make straight lines. So here I made sure that I am making a division that fits the left hand side so that is around 50 millimeters so on the right hand side I also designated 50 millimeter millimeters worth of grid and then I'm already going to divide that um, between days so that I have a daily extension which is something that I'm quite fond of you don't have to um, always do this if you don't have day specific activities but for next week I would like to take note of what I'm doing every day and I'll explain more later. Now for that right hand side to the right, so the extreme right, the, that space that I haven't lined yet, so I am lining it right now and I'm not following the daily extension lines and I wanted to really have that as looking really separate, looking really different from the daily extensions because the daily extension is quite wide so I needed that to be very different in terms of the vision and then I'm taking this film sticky tab well it's a sticky note size but I have not written on this and I don't think that you're meant to write on this so I'm just going to use it as a page flag and we're going to be using quite a few dots today so I thought that the dots page flag would be a good match and then I'm taking a brush pen that has a light brown color or shade and I've had this for quite a long time this is the born if I'm not mistaken um, pen a brush pen I got this in office works so if you are in Australia they sell this in like large quantities for not very expensive um, sets and now that I have done my highlighting let's go ahead and talk about the dots so here are two examples of the two types of dots that I do have there may be more but these are the more popular ones so we have this washi dot which is what I started off with and I'm using this light lilac well, it's more leaning brown in the picture, and this is translucent, not completely transparent, compared to the pet tape dots. So that's something to consider. Make sure that you are reading the description whenever you are ordering from, let's say, Stationery Pal or similar. And this is the first option. You can actually write symbols first and then put the sticky dot over. Now I underestimated the size of the sticky dots, so that's why my symbol is a little too small. But the most popular way really, which is not part of the options, is to put it over already a printed writing. For example, the calendar dates that are on your planner. But before we go through the other options, I'm going to go ahead and write down the labels for my headers. So I have tasks, today, progress, this week, and that is going to be my overview. 
and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on as well so that I could just see at a glance what I'm doing for the whole week if I have any upcoming appointments. And then this is going to be semi-working weekend so I want to put down my weekend plans and it's not divided between days because it's not something that I want to time. I'm just going to have to work around when I have the time on the weekend as I am prioritizing time with family. And then I highlighted the edge of the progress column and I'll also talk more about that later but basically it's going to be like a space for me to put my symbols down like check marks, X's, like a bujo. So this is another option of how to use your sticky dots and this is also another very popular way of using them which is to mark or draw your eye towards an information that is written down and there's if there's so many information written down then you are definitely going to see it now because of that sticky dot and this is the third option it is really very similar to option two but here I've cut up the sticky dots so that they are bordering an information and here it's actually a little check not checklist but a checkboxed item so that I remember to do it because it is now sort of highlighted by the two dots and you can also do this vertically and I think this is a fun thing to try should you have an activity that extends for several days for example you're going on a trip or there is one thing that you're going to do this week that needs to be done this week so it requires several days or nearly the whole week like what I have for next week so I just used my pencil to draw the sides but you can also do this with fine liners which is a I think a very colorful thing and I think you'll really enjoy that as well. So those are my tips on how you can use your sticky dots and this is the last one. This is an extra one and I think I'm going to need an extension for the information that I'm going to have to write down this week or next week and I've decided to add or tip in this Rhodia grid pad well, paper from that pad and this is found in pen friendly that's why I chose it instead of a regular sticky note which is not found in pen friendly and I just tuck it down using the dots should I choose to remove this then it's very easy for me to just pull this out because a lot of this is washi dots which is very easy to peel off and then the PET tape is just a dot so it's not going to be too difficult and I'm also writing the headers down for that and actually the good thing about tipping something in is that you can also decorate it without um, bothering about the space and now we are actually ready for our page anatomy and if you're new this is where I discuss what I have divided my pages into so I have today which is the focus tasks and all other tasks will go into the second column which is labeled or the header is task and then on the right page, I have my progress, which is my main focus. And then at the end, it's more chill. That is my weekend plans. So the main focus side is where I just write down all of the things I have done. Then I have overview, notes, and next week. So this is pretty simple and you've actually got a lot of space to write down information. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one.